There are more than 2,000 types of jellyfish in the world, and those are just the species that we know about. These strange yet wonderful animals have been floating through the world's oceans for at least 700 million years. Some can kill with a sting, others catch prey thanks to bioluminescence, and most of them are very pretty to look at. So join me for today's video as we go through the top 15 incredible jellyfish species. Number 15. Atolla Jellyfish also known as the Coronate medusa, the Atolla jellyfish is an amazing and beautiful species of deep-sea crown jellyfish and lives in oceans all around the world. This jellyfish can be characterized first and foremost by their 20 marginal tentacles and one hypertrophy tentacle, which is much larger than the rest, and this long trailing tentacle is most likely used to capture prey. But what really makes this deep red jelly so special is that it's bioluminescent, producing its own natural light. This adaptation comes especially in handy when they're under attack from natural predators. The Atolla will launch a series of flashes to draw in even bigger predators in the hopes that they'll take a bite out of their seaworthy assailant because there's always a bigger fish. This feature has earned the animal the nickname Alarm Jellyfish. This bioluminescence became so prominent amongst the marine biology community that one biologist in particular, Edith Widler, created a device based on the Atolla jellyfish's distress signal, aptly named the E-Jelly, which has been used to successfully and efficiently lure in mysterious and rarely seen deep-sea animals for documentation, with one of these animals being the elusive yet frightening giant squid. Number 14. Fried Egg Jellyfish with one of the sillier names in the animal kingdom, the fried egg jellyfish is a very large jellyfish from the family Phacelophora, and it's recognizable thanks to looking just like a cracked egg with the yolk sunny side up. Some of the eggy jellyfish can have a bell up to two feet in diameter, so despite the name, they're much larger than the breakfast food of their namesake. These jellies typically float about in the warmer waters of the world, particularly in the Mediterranean Sea. The fried egg jellyfish can usually be found feeding on both plankton and smaller jellyfish, collecting them in their tentacles and bringing them into their mouth for digestion. Because of their limited motion, they mostly drift along with the current, even when they're swimming, and will often use suspension feeding as their main food gathering strategy. But these marine animals will often develop a symbiotic relationship with larval crabs, in which these crabs will feed on the parasites within the jelly's bell, and in turn, the crabs get a free ride as they sit on top of the yolky bell, and sometimes even within the tentacles. However, as the crab gets older, larger, and requires more food to keep it going, it turns on the driver and will begin to devour the jellyfish. Number 13. Black Sea Nettle Sometimes referred to as the black jellyfish, the black sea nettle can usually be found in the waters of the Pacific Ocean, ranging from Monterey Bay in the north down to the southern waters of Mexico, and since their discovery, you'll most likely find them in large groups. The black sea nettle can grow to be frighteningly large, with an average bell of about 3 feet in diameter, and arms extending anywhere from 16 to 20 feet out, ready to entangle their prey. As their name suggests, the bell color is a distinct opaque purple that's dark enough to appear as black, with it sometimes having a lighter brown reticulated pattern. In fact, no other jellyfish on the west coast that visits the shores is this dark. The black sea nettle also has a total of eight sensory organs placed around its bell, which help them to detect food like zooplankton, which is incredibly abundant during red tides, and that's when the swarm comes. Each nettle tentacle is coated with thousands of microscopic nematocysts, all of which have a kind of trigger paired with a capsule containing a coiled stinging filament. As soon as something or someone comes into contact with that, a toxin is released that can either kill smaller prey or any perceived predators. And while that sting isn't lethal to humans, it can be quite painful, lasting for nearly an hour. Number 12. Immortal Jellyfish It may not look like much at first, but the immortal jellyfish is one of the most incredible of species. They are quite small, with a maximum bell diameter of less than an inch, and they are as tall as they are wide. The walls of the bell are just as thin, and their large stomach is bright red, making them impossible to miss. The younger immortal jellyfish will have about eight tentacles along the edge, but that number increases dramatically by the time they're adults, with about 80 to 90 tentacles. And speaking of aging, as the name would imply, the species is biologically immortal, and as it reaches sexual maturity, it will revert back into immaturity and begin the cycle all over again. It is quite incredible and an adaptation not often seen in the animal kingdom. As a youth, these immortal jellies will feed on plankton, but by the time they reach maturity, fellow jellyfish are on the menu. Even when these little guys are attacked, hurt, sick, or just old, they can essentially reset, reverting to the young polyp stage and forming a new polyp colony through a cell development process called transdifferentiation, completely changing their cells into something new. 
In theory, this process can go on forever, hence the biological immortality, but oftentimes disease can kill these jellyfish faster than the cell changing process can keep up. Number 11. Four-Handed Box Jellyfish Found mostly in the waters of the Western Atlantic Ocean, the Gulf of Mexico, and the Pacific Ocean, the four-handed box jellyfish packs a nasty sting that can be dangerous to humans. These stinging jellyfish aren't very big, with a diameter of about 5.5 inches, and are typically just as tall. Their bodies are cube-shaped, colorless, and transparent, with a body composed of a gelatinous material with rounded top edges of the bell and a flat top. The four-handed box jelly has bundles of seven to nine tentacles at the four lower corners of the bell, each tipped with a finger-like appendage. Their two outer tentacles are pinkish, with the inner tentacles more yellow, which can often grow up to 13 feet long. These long tentacles are all armed with tiny nematocysts, which both capture prey like small fish and deter predators with their nasty sting. Number 10. Crystal Jellyfish the crystal jelly is an amazing species of bioluminescent hydrozoan jellyfish found off the west coast of North America. They're born with two proteins, equorin and GFP, which give them their gorgeous glow under the ocean. But despite their natural light, the crystal jellyfish is entirely transparent and colorless, making it quite difficult to see during the day, even with their 150 tentacles. This is another stinging jelly as their tentacles all possess nematocysts that aid in the capturing of prey, but thankfully they have no effect on humans. That also means that the crystal jelly has a fair amount of predators out in the wild, including larger species of jellyfish, and sometimes they've even been known to opt for a bit of cannibalism. Crystal jellies are known to live a dimorphic life, meaning they alternate between the asexual and sexual phases in a seasonal pattern, and assuming they aren't eaten first, live a short lifespan of just six years. These jellies will typically feed on other small, soft-bodied organisms, but they've also been known to chow down on barnacles if other food sources are less abundant. Live prey is ensnared in their long tentacles, stung and stunned before being brought to the body for digestion. Despite their floating nature, the crystal jelly has a voracious nature, and so competition can exist among them for small prey. Number 9. Benthocodon what sounds like something hidden behind the pharmacy counter is really a strange-looking creature dwelling 2,500 feet below the surface in the Mariana Trench. The benthocodon is a deep-sea jellyfish that you won't see washing up on the shores of your favorite beach anytime soon, or pretty much ever, because they're living as close to the sea floor as possible. The benthocodon has a small body with a rounded top or bell. The bell doesn't grow to be much larger than an inch, but it's laced with around 1,500 wispy red tentacles that they use to help swim through the pitch black waters. But something this wild looking isn't feeding on plankton alone. Nope, despite its size, it can even gobble up small crustaceans. And while most of the jellyfish we've grown accustomed to seeing are transparent, the benthocodon has an opaque red hue. But because they exist so far deep down there, they're tough to properly study. But many scientists believe that the benthocodon reddish hue is used to hide the bioluminescent glow of whatever the jellyfish just ate, hiding them from predators. Pretty cool. Number 8. Comb Jellies If you ever get the chance to visit the Mariana Trench, you'll be lucky to see some comb jellies. But since the odds of anyone going down there are slim, I'll just tell you about them here. The comb jelly is, you guessed it, a jellyfish that uses its comb-like plates to move about in the ocean. But what makes them especially captivating is their bioluminescence. These light structures move all throughout their body and even change depending on the level of light that they're exposed to. And as they swim, all of these factors combine to give them a fun shimmer rainbow effect. It really is a spectacular looking jelly. So then the comb jelly must be as gentle as it is pretty. But if we've learned anything here today, it's that nothing living in the Mariana Trench is gentle. The comb jellies make for some serious deep-sea predators, and will even attack their fellow jellies if they're hungry enough. It can even expand its stomach to hold prey nearly half their size, and while that may sound boring for a comb jelly that's only a few millimeters long, that's a serious catch for the jellies that can grow up to five feet long. Number 7. Australian Box Jelly one of the most venomous animals on the planet, the Australian box jellyfish, or sea wasp, packs one deadly sting. This species of box jellies are found in the warm coastal waters of Australia and New Guinea, Malaysia, the Philippines, and Vietnam, and it's been the cause of 64 recorded deaths from 1884 to 2021. This jellyfish's tentacles can reach up to 10 feet long and are covered with millions of cnidocytes, which on contact release microscopic darts delivering deadly venom. 
A sting from one of these will result in excruciating pain, and if left untreated, a victim has about two to five minutes left on this earth. And each of these jellyfish holds enough venom within to kill 60 adult humans. These jellyfish are the largest of their kind, and the bell of the adults can grow to be the size of a basketball. And from each of their four corners of the bell trails a cluster of 15 tentacles. The Australian box jelly is a beautiful pale blue with faint markings, which from the right angles can look like an ominous human skull, a warning for those about to get too curious and too close. And to make matters worse, the Australian box jelly is transparent, making them pretty tough to spot in water, posing a significant danger to swimmers in the wrong place at the wrong time. While on the hunt, the Australian box jelly will spread its tentacles out to about 20 feet in diameter, so if you do manage to spot the bell, it may already be too late. Number 6. Moon Jellyfish The most common jellyfish in the world is thankfully also totally harmless, the moon jellyfish. This jelly is almost entirely translucent and just 10 to 16 inches in diameter and can be identified by their four horseshoe-shaped gonads seen right at the top of the bell. These docile floaters feed by collecting plankton and even mollusks with their tentacles and bringing them into their bodies for digestion. The moon jellyfish is an incredibly simple creature and it's capable of very limited motion. But being docile also means plenty of predators. The moon jellyfish is a favorite of creatures like the leatherback sea turtle and the massive ocean sunfish because of their higher proportions of polyunsaturated fatty acids, which at the end of the day makes them incredibly nutritious. In fact, they're so good that even normally herbivorous fish have been known to take a nibble of the moon jellyfish from time to time. And in spite of that natural beauty, the moon jelly tends to live a very short life, dying just a few months after reproducing, with most of them just living a six-month lifespan in the wild. Number 5. Cauliflower Jellyfish One of the coolest jellyfish without a doubt is the Safia or Cauliflower Jellyfish. This aptly named jelly is usually found in the subtropical oceans throughout the world and has a decent sized bell of about 7 inches in diameter. It may sound small, but when you're up close and personal, it is the size of your head. They are absolutely beautiful, but don't let their looks fool you, because this jellyfish is quite venomous, although not enough to truly harm a human. This aquatic specimen moves up and down throughout the ocean, spending daytime hours in the depths and thriving in the darkness before coming up to surface at night. But what makes these jellyfish quite literally stand out is their bioluminescence. And so when they feel threatened by any predators, they can emit a bright light as a deterrent. And as if their name wasn't a suggestion from Mother Nature, the cauliflower jellyfish is sometimes made a meal of in places like Japan and China for medical purposes. Number 4. Upside Down Jellyfish no, this one isn't from Australia. Commonly known as the upside-down jellyfish, the Cassiopeia is a genus of true jellyfish and the only member of the Cassiopeia family. These cool little jellies can be found in the warmer coastal regions all around the world from shallow mangrove swamps to mud flats, and canals to the turtle grass flats of the American South, the Caribbean, and Micronesia. Considered a medusa, the upside-down jellyfish lives as its namesake would imply, upside down. So why does it do something like this? Well, this upside-down jellyfish lives in a symbiotic relationship with photosynthetic dinoflagellates, and so it bobs about in this state to get sufficient light penetration to fuel its energy source. You'll find the upside-down jelly in various colors and shades of white, blue, green, and brown. But despite the beautiful colors, it's best to leave these suckers alone because their photosynthetic nature provides them a mild sting. And while that sting will never come close to killing a human, children and more sensitive people may get a little more than they bargained for. A sting from one of these jellies typically leaves a red rash and irritation, and it's known for being incredibly itchy. But don't be surprised if you see one of these upside-down jellyfish catch a ride on the back of a crab, which uses the jelly as a defense against potential predators. Number 3. White Spotted Jellyfish Phyloriza punctata or the white-spotted jellyfish is a cute little jelly, also known as the floating bell, thanks to its shape and size. These white-spotted jellies are typically found in the western Pacific Ocean from Australia to Japan, but have recently been introduced widely elsewhere. Typically just feeding on plankton, the white-spotted jelly can grow to be about 20 inches in bell diameter, with the largest specimen ever recorded coming in at 28 inches across and found in Sunset Beach, North Carolina. These jellyfish thrive in warmer, high-salinity waters and have a mild venom, too minimal to be ever considered harmful to humans, but certainly enough to throw off any smaller predators. And while they may be beautiful, the white-spotted jellyfish can be considered an invasive species. 
They've been found in the waters of the Hawaiian Islands since the 1940s, in the Mediterranean Sea since the 1960s, and more recently in the Gulf of Mexico in the early 2000s. But what makes them so interesting is that no one knows how these jellyfish were introduced to these bodies of water that are so far from each other. But it's been theorized that budding polyps may have attached themselves to passing ships or were carried in a ballast tank before being dumped out into the ocean. These white-spotted jellyfish pose a threat to several species, as they can grow to unusual sizes in certain regions, therefore requiring a larger food source and ravaging both the shrimp and plankton populations, which feeds thousands of other aquatic species. And when too many of these jellies gather in one place, they can even pose a threat to the local shipping industry, as they can clog fish nets, damage boat intakes, and ruin fishing gear. In fact, populations can be so high in an area that they'll even close it down for fishing until they disperse. Number 2. Lion's Mane Jellyfish Also known as the Giant Jellyfish, Arctic Red Jellyfish, or the Hair Jelly, the Lion's Mane Jellyfish is one of the largest known species of jelly in the world. Their range is confined to the cold waters of the Arctic, Northern Atlantic, and Northern Pacific Oceans, bobbing about in waters that don't see much human interaction. You will typically spot them in the English Channel, Irish Sea, North Sea, and Western Scandinavian waters, and they've been even known to float all the way to parts of the Baltic Sea. These jellies are absolutely enormous, with the largest species ever recorded having a 7-foot diameter bell and tentacles 120 feet long, which they use to sting and capture their prey. And speaking of prey, what does something so large eat? Well, anything from plankton to fish, larger sea creatures, and even other jellyfish. The lion's mane remains mostly near the surface of the ocean and usually won't delve deeper than 60 feet down, and they depend greatly on the ocean currents to travel, as their slow pulsations weakly drive them forward. They're usually found during the later summer and autumn, when they've grown to such a large enough size that the currents start to sweep them to the shore. And unlike many other jellies on this list, the lion's mane is completely solitary and will rarely be seen with another of its kind. Number 1. Nomura's Jellyfish in the same size class as the aforementioned lion's mane is Nomura's jellyfish. When they're fully grown, the Nomura can be taller than a human, with a diameter of about six and a half feet and weighing up to 440 pounds. They are absolutely huge. These giant jellies can be found in the waters between China and Japan, primarily in the Yellow Sea and the East China Sea. Their population blooms appear to be increasing as time goes on, but they have seen their largest rate of increase within the last two decades. Some possible reasons for the rapid growth are climate change, as they thrive in warmer waters, overfishing, and coastal modification, with the latter of the two adding to the substrate for asexually producing polyps. Aside from their sheer size, Nomura's jellyfish are characterized by their translucent white bodies and pinkish or red capulets and oral arms. But these jellies have grown to be so large and so abundant that in 2009, an 11-ton fishing trawler capsized off Chiba in Tokyo Bay as the humble three-person crew tried to haul a net containing dozens of these giant jellies, and they needed a swift rescue from fellow fishermen. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge-watch all of our best animal-related videos.